Hi guys, welcome back down to the channel. So, today we're going to have a bit of a, a, a testing session with the new Ping G430 Max 10K. Now, this one, Nick's had people talking a little bit. A lot of brands are bringing out these, well, not a lot, but there's a couple of brands that bring out these 10K models now. And Ping have, have brought this into the stable of the 430 without making it into a new number, haven't they? Which I think people found a bit surprising that they've just brought the one driver to sit with the current set that they've got. But this 430 is meant to be very, very accurate and very, very straight. They've, they've done something with this, let's get it right, carbon fly wrap crown. That's a mouthful. Very good, Rob, very good. I've done well to remember that, haven't we? It's, well, that's the um, water cue. It's, 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 it's gonna be interesting to see how good this is. A big fan of the G430. Yeah. As I was with the 425. 425 was noisy, it was yeah. a bit echoey. Mm. I thought they got the acoustics of the 430, 430 right. Um, fast, uh, accurate, forgiving, relatively low spin. So, and there was a model in there for everyone. Yeah. So 4K is just in a, in a standard head. Three lofts, nine, ten and a half, and twelve. It's got the it's got the new technology. You know, it's got this ten thousand k um, moment of inertia. Yeah. So, so again, less resistant to twist. The carbon, it's the ultra light carbon that w which goes right, that wraps right the way around the back of the driver. So it goes into the heel and toe, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it's the lightest. It's the lightest carbon driver they've ever done, and I'm led to believe it's the biggest footprint of a driver as well. And also as well, they've uh, they've got away with the, the movable weight technology. It's a fixed, a fixed fixed weight, weight at the, the back. back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's a, a fixed standard weight in there. It's, I don't know what the weight is. It off the top of my head. I'll try and find that and I'll put it on screen. I'll put it into the into the details below. But that makes it quite an interesting one as to how. How much, how much more are you going to get from it? Dispersion wise, is it going to help you make it tighter, but you're still going to get a bit of pop to get it out there. And that'll be an interesting one to try and test just to see, is it all forgiveness and no distance, or is there a decent trade off between the, the holy grail, what golfers want? We, 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 we want a bit of everything. And, and in early testing, again, th this ticks every box to be mm. fair, Rob. Um, it's launching at a reasonable height. It's not spinning a lot, which is good if it's mm. launching high. It's nice and light uh, and, and it's fast and forgiving. Right, so let's go and have a try at it. We're going to do, um, well, we're going to do this slightly different because we're going to use the standard shaft that Ping give. We're going to use the kind of watered down tow shaft. They are two short stuck tow shafts. One's quite stout, quite stiff, mm -hmm. slightly on the heavy side. And then they have a slightly more forgiving version. So we're gonna give Rob the ping tow forgiving version. Yep. And then they also offer at no extra upcharge, they offer a, um, a more exotic shaft, which is a, a nice RDX red, which if you was to buy off us off the shelf, it would be more expensive, Rob. Right. This is a free upcharge. So we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna try 10 shots with each of these. We're gonna see if there's a difference. And then also we're gonna then compare that to the standard 430 head. Brilliant, so we'll do the 430 in a different video. So we got the, okay. we got the, the two heads there, uh, but for now, let's get this one done and see what the 20 shot's gonna be like. Great. There you go, let's crack on. Right, Nick, so here we go. We've got, which one is this? This is the Tour, Tour 2.065 stiff. Yeah. Okay. 10.5 head, uh, neutral setting. Neutral setting, right. So everything pretty standard. Well, looking down at it, I don't mind the look at I mean, the, like I said, the turbulators have never bothered me. To look at the turbulators doesn't bother me because for me, it frames the sweet spot. Yeah. It points into that sweet spot. I don't mind that. The only thing I've always had an issue with the turbulators is its noise. I've noticed that when I've tried to take it back a bit quicker, I can hear it whooshing Whistle. before I'm taking it as I'm yeah. taking it back. Yeah. That's the only thing. And it's one of them, they've stuck with it, haven't they? Yeah. Whereas a lot of other companies yeah. have tried it, uh, have tried similar, Ping have stuck with this. I think what's interesting though, Rob, w w whether, regardless of whether you like the turbulators or not, I think if you hit it and, and it gives you good results, you can soon grow in love with something, oh, yeah. can't you? Yeah, you, you soon can do, yeah. 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 Proves that with the wife. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Let's have a let's have an it. We'll do ten of, of these and then we're gonna change shaft them, aren't we? Correct. Okie dokie, here we go then. Was it a bit necky? Bit necky. That was alright. But it's it was it was out the neck, but that's done alright. Distance wise was awful. Distance wise was a shocker, but it stayed straight enough, and that was it, quite far out the neck, that. It, it was out of the neck, and I shall just show you that, Rob. Let's have a look. 
So yeah, that's that's a fair distance out of the net, yeah. and that stayed straight. Yeah, so that's a good sign. That's maybe a really good maybe sign. we've found a driver for you. You never know. This helps me find fairways. Much better. Oh, I felt good that. Again. Yeah, good. Feels a bit necky again. Yeah, fraction. But still not bad. Good shot, Rob. Very good shot. Oh, I felt buttoned. Nice. Yeah. Nice one to finish on. Was it a nice one to finish on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, it started well, it ended well, and the middle bit we kind of don't talk about really, do we? You'll see those in a minute when we bring up the stats in a moment. I mean, first impression, I mean, the shaft feels good. Yeah. Because this is just a ping stock shaft, and that's no offence when I say that. Because it's just a ping stock shaft, it feels really good and really stable as well. Okay. Uh, I was impressed with that. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I've never really hit, in fact, I've never hit a ping stock shaft before. So that was, uh, that was really good. It's not a bad shaft to, to hit. Driver-wise. Sound is better. Sounds a lot better. And, and the takeaway, the back, granted, I, as, as I'm always saying, I swing like an asthmatic tortoise. Um, but I'm not feeling that, or not hearing that <laughs> yeah. going back the way. You know, a couple of ones I've tried to snatch it back and try and take it back quicker, thinking I'm going to get that. And I'm not getting that this time. The turbulators haven't really changed, but I don't know what it is. It just sounds better. Yeah. And off the head, there's there's not a lot of feel off the head, but it still doesn't feel bad. If that, yeah. If that makes sense. So. I yeah. Think, I think you soon forget about the turbulators, and yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, you know, a lot of lot of viewers describe this as uh, a lot going on on the mm. head. Yeah. But I think you've just got to blank that from your mind and 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 put your trust in it. So I actually said to Rob off her that I think this could be a, a favourable option for him moving into 2024. Mm. I think I think this is a, um, I, I think this has got your name written all over it, Rob. I think it's got a, it's definitely a possibility to to do a my version of a build a bag. Yeah. Um, I, I think this could be one that could go in it and also the point of this this weight in the back can we experiment with it we can, can we experiment can we take a weight out can we put yeah. a, a lighter weight in it yeah. it's going to change the dynamics of the head of what 10k is meant to do yeah. but I might give you a bit more pop I don't know but we'll see right Let's go and put the other shaft in. And by Rob's uh, admission here, he keeps saying he's not swinging well. He's no. going having a lesson this week. So it'll be interesting to see when we compare this against one or two of the other drivers that we've done some videos on. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Do a comparable and see, see how much better I can try and hit it when, when yeah. I've got the lesson in. Right, so let's go and change the shaft and we'll go into the, the next one. Perfect. And see how going to go. Right, stay so, tuned. Right, Rob. Okay, mate, what we got here then? Here we go. So, um, RDX, hazardous RDX red, part of the hazardous family. I would say this is the most active of the hazardous range. Right. Hazardous is well known for being quite a stout, quite a stiff uh, shaft. Can be labelled as hard work if you don't generate enough speed. Mm. This one definitely plays a little bit softer. Right. Um, gets the ball airborne. Still, still relatively mid to low spin. I think this is a good option for you. And of course, like we said earlier, this is a, currently a free upcharge. A well, upcharge. It's a, it's a free offering from Ping at this moment in time. Right, that's good. That's and it good. is a two hundred pound shaft, Rob. Is you it? know, if you was to come and we was to put that in your current gamer, good you know, it would be two, it would be two hundred quid. So yeah. Because I think I've got um, has this yellow in my fairway woods. Yeah, that's uh, a counterbalance. That's not quite counterbalance, no. but it's um, it's it's a it's a, it's a it's a very popular shaft. Right. Quite a lot of the OEMs are using that as a uh, as a as an exotic upgrade. All right. Okay. Right. Well, let's give this one ten. Okay. Uh, and then we can compare the numbers. Yeah. Might stay right on your touch. Yeah, no, it's not. Touch. It's not bad. Rob, that was a good shot. This this feels a little a little bit sturdier. Yeah, yeah. I can feel a bit of a kick, but it, it, it feels a bit sturdier, I okay. think. If that's even the right description, how to describe actually what I'm meaning by that. But yeah, it feels feels good that. There's a nice little kick point to it. Yeah, solid. Four. 
Four right. <laughs> Again, good strikes. Just leaving that face open a touch, Rob, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, that face a long way open. Yes, great shot. Shot. Yeah, great shot. That's going to finish off with, isn't it? It's almost like we planned these last shots, Rob, isn't those it? Last shots, yeah, yeah. You see, we, we, we are. We, we, and honestly, that's that's ten shots with no taken out, <laughs> as, as if you watch an old UK TV advert. Um, you know what? I I didn't think I'd like this. Okay, I came into this, I, I try, when I come into test guys, and when I've done this in the past with Rick, I try not to come in with a, 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 a closed preconceived, mind, a preconceived yeah, idea. Yeah. I've tried not to, it's difficult, but I've tried not to. And, because I never knew what I was testing, but this one, we've planned this, or what we're going to test. Now, hitting the 430 max, I, the original one, I didn't like that, did I? Well, I've, I've hit it in the past. But this one, I don't know, there's something a bit different to this. And this is a 4.30 on steroids, isn't yeah. it? You know, it's, it, it, it's been jacked up a little bit. Yeah, it's had growth hormones. Any thoughts on the shaft before I show you the results? I like this shaft better than the ping one. Okay. Um, it's not from, because a, from a feel point of from view. From a feel point of view, yeah. I, I, think, I think it's performed, I, I think it's off the top of my head, I think it's performed better. Um, I like the feel of it. it. It doesn't feel like I'm fighting it. I'm fighting my own swing at the moment, but I didn't feel like I was fighting the shaft. The shaft. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, I'm just fighting my own swing at the moment to try yeah. and get it, get it somewhere accurate. But I mean, that last one there, you know, nice little tight draw and it, fi it finished well. So my initial thoughts, and we haven't, we haven't had a look at the results. No. I, think, I, think, uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. I think you've hit some good shots with both of those two options. Well, that's going to be interesting. So all right, guys, let's go and have a take a look. We'll do a comparable between the two um, and let's see how we're going to go with this one. Let's have a look. Right, Nick. Okay. So, pal, what are we looking at? The, 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 the spectrum looks a bit right. Okay, so everything has gone slightly right on you today, Rob. So at least there's a consistency there, isn't there? So it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a good time to do some testing. Uh, we've tried both, two, two, one head, two different shafts. Um, just showing you, first of all, strike location. So strike lo location on the uh, first shaft. So that was the ping shaft. They were your first 10 shots of the day. Um, relatively good. It's always good with you to be fur, fur, Rob. If I did have a criticism, it's slightly towards the heel. And if you catch it slightly towards the heel, you know, a little bit of gear effect kicks in and we get an incre a, a drop in ball speed and a slight increase in spin mm. as, as a rule. Um, but again, relatively central. OK, we put the RDX shaft in there. Um, probably because it was a little bit more warmed up. We got that strike location a little bit more accurate. Yeah, uh, for, for me, that's, that's good. If we could get you slightly into this box here, right. you know, for me, that would be maximum ball speed and probably as low a spin as we're going to get as well. So, so yeah, so a little bit of difference in strike location. Um, very good. Now well, the, we, the heat map was more consistent, though, with the RDX, wasn't cer it? Certainly with the RDX, yeah. And I, I do think, Rob, there's probably an element of you being slightly more warmed up there as okay. well, to, to be fair. But yes, as, as far as the heat map goes, we've got better results there out of the RDX. I mean, that, that's not dissing the, the ping shaft at all. I thought that was a very good shaft. Yeah, yeah. Very good shaft. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised with that. So, so we can see from a ball flight point of view, everything's gone slightly right of centre. It's not disastrous. I think we've got one or two that would have just missed the fairway. And if we make the comparison, there we go, Rob. So we've got 10 shots with each. If we condense that and we take some averages, um, this is the first shaft. So same length and same weight of shafts, guys. So we, we, we shouldn't see a, a great deal of difference in club speed. Uh, ball speed, we sneak a, a mile an hour more. Again, I think that's probably down to the strike location. Therefore, it's slightly more efficient when we, when we compare smash factor. And of course, it's gone a fraction further with a fraction less spin. So I think if we was just purely looking at the numbers, 
we would say the RDX has slightly got the edge, considering it's a free upgrade, Rob. Yeah, considering exactly. it's free. You know, if I was showing you those results and saying this is a £300 upcharge, yeah. I think you'd probably be reluctant to to, uh, to part with any money. Yeah. But but looking at the results there, we'd say the RDX has slightly got the edge. And then, of course, we bring in dispersion. So the orange one that's flashing now is the RDX. Like I say, three of your best shots today have been with the RDX. A couple have fell slightly to the right. And then the white one that's flashing now, that's the first shaft. That's the uh, tow chrome shaft. Um, this, unfortunately, Rob, was first shot of the day. So that yeah. has dragged your stats down just a fraction. Yeah. You know, if we was to eliminate that, it would be interesting because we would probably be uh, almost neck and neck then. Yeah. So again, what I would say to you is what I would say to all our customers, you know, if the results are very similar, what felt the best, Rob? You know, which felt the best in your hands? Um, Height-wise, they've both got a similar height. Again, if I was describing the RDX, if we was comparing it to the flagship shaft out there at the moment, which is the Fuji Cure Aventus, it's like a, it's like a Ventus Red. Yeah. Yeah. So on, on paper, a little bit softer, uh, uh, certainly on the, on the lower section, um, gets the ball up in the air a little bit quicker. And I think it's done a, uh, I think it's done a really reasonably good job for you. Yeah, that's good. Right, go on, let's go and do a summary. So guys, there you go. That's the 430 Max, G430 Max, 10K, review done. Good club, very good club. I think that's, I can understand why now there's pros that are gonna probably put that in as well. If it's not, if it's still gonna get a bit of pop to it, and then they're gonna help with the dispersion, and the, the, it's no weight bias to it, a draw, it's fade bias to it, sorry, and you can change the weight in the back to a lighter weight, I don't see why that wouldn't get used a bit more, even by the better players. Um, I, I couldn't agree more, you know, I think it's advantage, advantage, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a 430, uh, new and improved. I, I, I certainly think there could be some mileage in mm. you coming and we do a little bit of testing, you know, play around with some different... Um, some different shafts and, and maybe just move the head shape a little bit. I mean, today we would have probably closed the face a touch because yeah. we've lost a couple to the right. Yeah. But I, I think that's a strong option. I think that's going to be the one to beat, to be fair, Rob. I think that could be the one for 2024. It could be that. That could be the standout candidate this year, for, I think, for anybody uh, to, to actually, you know, Ping's already on the map with its drivers anyway, but I think that one just could be an absolute blockbuster. There could be one slight drawback it's expensive. It's not the cheapest driver out there. I think for a run, a standard run of the mill version of this, I think it's about 580 quid. Right. So, you know, it is slightly on the pricey side, mm. but if you're going to see some good performance, we can all find that little bit extra. Yeah, I think that head in itself could be a very good surprise package. What we are going to do, though, is we are going to do another video for you. I'm going to compare that against the G425 Max because the 425 Max was a 10K head. Well, let's just believe didn't so. Box it as a 10K head, but in the promotional stuff, it actually said it was 10K. Yeah. But nobody picked up on that, and it's only just since some of them have now picked up with 10K, 10K, yeah. 10K that it's become a buzz word or a buzz number or a bu buzz status. I think with the 425, we was too busy. Uh, focusing on the sound. Yes, I think it was to be fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. with the size of my ears, that was a loud thing. I, 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 I perforate my eardrum twice hitting that thing. <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see as do a comparison as a head to head with that one. Correct. And, and I, I also think we'll throw the 430 in the mix because yeah. we've got a lot of customers that have spent good money on a 430. Mm. Is this worth the extra money? Is it, Is it the worth the, the upgrade? Yeah, especially when you're know, either if you've got the 430 and you want to go to 430 max. Is there a point? Or yeah. if you're changing drivers, because they're keeping the 430 family for this year at least, yeah. is it worthwhile getting that one now? Yeah. Because it'll be cheaper. Yeah. So that's another option to do. Right, guys. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Please share it around. And please follow this big man, Nick Hibbs, on Torex Golf. I'll give all the details in the, uh, in the description below. Give Torex a follow. Show them some love. And we'll see you on the other side. Take care, guys, to the next video.